Hey, this is Dom from DomFlyFish.com. Uh, what I want to show you today is how to use your fishing vest rod holder. Uh, I was fishing with a friend up at the San Juan River, and um, after I hooked a fish, he was. I asked him to help me uh, land it. So what ended up happening was is I ended up. Uh, he ended up netting the fish for me. And then I put the rod in my uh, rod holder on my vest here, and he was quite surprised that the uh, the vest held the rod. So I just wanted to uh, create a little video here to show folks on uh, how to use the rod holder that's on most of the vests that are out there uh, used for fly fishing. So, uh, so just to point out real quick here, you know, the points that I'm going to be showing you here are, you know, right in here on the fly vest and then uh, over here. On the fly vest as well so so go ahead and move to the next picture here all right here's the loop on the bottom part of the vest in detail and you know what what ends up happening here is you end up putting the end of the rod you know through the through the loop here and it actually rests between the rod and the reel and then we'll be looking at a uh, the upper part of the vest here all right, we're looking at the upper part of the vest. This is the um, usually Velcro, you know, this is it's the Velcro part that holds and it's closed right now. And so the part of the uh, area that we're seeing here is, you know, right in here. And so the next picture here, you know, the Velcro is opened. So uh, sometimes you'll see, you know, the Velcro is maybe on a, on a pocket that's right up in here. And then, you know, you'll have a Velcro enclosure right there. Of course, it depends on the type of vest that you have. So, all right. And what you see here is you see the uh, fly rod and the reel. It's been inserted into the loop. So now the weight of the rod and the reel actually is on the loop. And so it's holding it on that side. And then if you look at the next picture, you actually lay the rod against the vest. So when you're wearing it, you want to open up the Velcro, lay the rod you know, on the Velcro there. Uh, and then you want to close the Velcro. And this picture shows the Velcro closed on the rod. And then finally, you know, once you're done with that, then you can let go of the rod and you have your hands free to do what you want. And then, like I said, you know, it's the loop right in here, and it's the Velcro enclosure here, which will hold your rod for you and free up your hands to do whatever you want. If you want to, um, you know, handle the fish before releasing it, it lets you do that. Uh, hope this tip was good for you. Uh, come back to DomFlyFish.com again. Thanks. Bye.